All right, so in this problem, I have a to the power of x plus a to the power of x plus a to the power of x plus a to the power of x is equal to eight. So to solve this, I'm gonna first start by replacing eight with two to the power of three. So now I have two to the power of three to the power of x plus two to the power of three to the power of x plus two to the power of three to the power of x plus two to the power of three to the power of x is equal to two to the power of three. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is the same thing as a to the power of n to the power of m. So two to the power of three to the power of x, that's the same thing as two to the power of x to the power of three so now I have two to the power of x to the power of three plus two to the power of x to the power of three plus two to the power of x to the power of three plus two to the power of x to the power of three is equal to two to the power of three. Now, this is the same thing as a to the power of m times n. So now I have two to the power of three x plus two to the power of three x plus two to the power of three x plus two to the power of three x is equal to two to the power of three. Now if I factor out two to the power of three x, I get two to the power of three x times one plus one plus one plus one is equal to two to the power of three, which is the same thing as two to the power of three x times four is equal to two to the power of three. Now four, this is the same thing as two squared. And I can divide both sides by two squared. So then these two cancel out. So now I have two to the power of three, three x is equal to two to the power of three over two to the power of two. And two to the power of three divided by two to the power of two that's equal to two to the power of three minus two, which is equal to two to the power of one. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, this means that m is equal to n. So in this case, three x is equal to one, and if I divide both sides by three, I get x is equal to one third. All right, so in this problem, I have x minus four to the power of four is equal to x to the power of four. So to start, I'm gonna rewrite this as x minus four squared to the power of two is equal to x squared to the power of two. And now I'm gonna subtract both sides by x squared to the power of two. So then these two cancel out. And now I have x minus four squared to the power of two minus x squared to the power of two is equal to zero. Now if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, this is equal to x minus four squared plus x squared times x minus four squared minus x squared is equal to zero. Now, if I expand this, I get x squared minus eight x plus 16 plus x squared times x squared minus eight x plus 16 minus x squared is equal to zero. So this gives me two x squared minus eight x plus 16 times, these two cancel out, negative eight x plus 16 is equal to zero. So now we have two equations. We have two x squared minus eight x plus 16 is equal to zero, and we have negative eight x plus 16 is equal to zero. So for negative eight x plus 16 equals zero, I'm gonna add eight x on both sides. These two cancel out, so I get eight x equals 16, and now if I divide both sides by eight, I get x is equal to two.
Now for 2x squared minus ax plus 16, I can factor out 2. So I get x squared minus 4x plus 8 is equal to 0. And now this is the same thing as negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is 1, b is negative 4, and c is 8. So I get, I get x equals negative of negative 4 plus or minus the square root of b squared, so negative 4 squared minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 8, all over 2a, so 2 times 1. Now this is equal to 4 plus or minus the square root of negative 4 squared, which is 16, minus 32 over 2, which is equal to 4 plus or minus the square root of negative 16 over 2, which is equal to 4 plus or minus 4i over 2, which is equal to 2 plus or minus 2i. All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of x to the power of 3 is equal to 729. So for my solution, I obviously want to find the value of x. So I'm going to start by taking the power of 3 on both sides. So now I have x to the power of x to the power of 3 to the power of 3 is equal to 729 to the power of 3. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. And for a to the power of m times n, this is the same thing as a to the power of n times m. I can switch these two places. Meaning, if a to the power of m times n is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n, then a to the power of n times m, this is equal to a to the power of n to the power of m. So this means that a to the power of m to the power of n is equal to a to the power of n to the power of m. So right here, we have x to the power of x to the power of 3 to the power of 3. And we can think of x to the power of 3 as m and 3 as n. So this is the same thing as x to the power of 3 to the power of x to the power of 3. And this is equal to 729 to the power of 3. Now, 729 is the same thing as 9 to the power of 3. So now I have x to the power of 3 to the power of x to the power of 3 is equal to 9 to the power of 3 to the power of 3. And remember again, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 9 to the power of 3 to the power of 3, that's going to equal 9 to the power of 3 times 3, which is equal to 9 to the power of 9. So now I have x to the power of 3 to the power of x to the power of 3 is equal to 9 to the power of 9. And now if I have something in the form a to the power of a is equal to b to the power of b, this means that a is equal to b. So in this case, x to the power of 3 is equal to 9. Now to solve this, all I have to do is take the cube root on both sides. So now I have the cube root of x to the power of 3 is equal to the cube root of 9. And the cube root of x to the power of 3 is equal to x, so I have x is equal to the cube root of 9.